This year's El Nino was the strongest on record, but the central coast is still in a drought. The average rainfall for the city of San Luis Obispo is 24 inches. So far this year, the city has had 18 inches of rainfall, 6 below the average. However, despite the below average rainfall, over at the Whale Rock Reservoir, El Nino made a positive impact. That was enough rain to really saturate the surrounding soils and get some of the creeks running. So we did accumulate um, additional water in the reservoir. We had about a, a two foot gain in elevation in the reservoir. We have about 58 feet to go before we hit the spillway. So we have quite a bit of room and, and we would love to see some more rain. Two feet of rainfall doesn't equate too much. Two feet is about a little over 550 acre feet of water. In comparison, the city of San Luis Obispo water treatment plant gets about 100 acre of feet a month. One can equate that to four to six months worth of additional water from El Nino to the city of San Luis Obispo. Travels down through this pipeline, through this meter right here, and then from that point it gets uh, sent out into the system. What are these numbers here on the meter? That's the flow rate right there in gallons per minute. So there's roughly 2,500 gallons a minute. At this point, the drought has affected the community in that it's changed it's changed citizens' behaviors to a certain point. We have not experienced uh, enough years of drought to where we've gone to water rationing or some other strategy to really help conserve the water portfolio for the surrounding communities in the city of San Luis. Each community is gonna take their own, own tact on it. Joel Escarreno, Mustang News.